Hi, this is Robin Peters Bennett, and I'm here today uh, with uh, Suzanne Tucker, and we are celebrating a month-long event called uh, the 2016 No Spank Challenge, which is sponsored by uh, the U.S. Alliance to End the Hitting of Children and is hosted by our amazing Amy Bryant with Parenting Beyond Punishment. And Suzanne, I met you uh, over the internet, which is amazing, because I saw your Kickstarter um, you were doing this amazing project called Peacemakers. So I just want to open the floor to you and just tell us a little bit about yourself, your work you do, and then maybe you can launch in a little bit about Peacemakers and we can just talk about um, what these amazing cards are um, and how you actually can help your children build emotional intelligence. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, my name is Suzanne Tucker, and I'm the founder of Generation Mindful, which is a social mission-driven company creating playful products for families and classrooms. And our whole intention is to build and nurture emotional intelligence and to do it playfully. When I was looking through these, it's sort of a, it's a pretty playful experience and it's sort of open-ended. And, you know, I work with a lot of parents who can be quite sophisticated in some ways, much more than I am cognitively, you know, more able to be planful. To, they're, they're really good at explaining things. They're really good at explaining consequences of it. this will, then this will occur. Um, but, but they sort of have very um, full lives that are very planned. And what parents often struggle with is what you're talking about this moment um, of being able to get into a space with their children that isn't, um, there's no agenda. Yeah. You know, there's nothing going to happen. It's just being together. Yeah. And that, I think, is really hard for a lot of parents. Um, it can actually make one more anxious. So yeah. I'm really um, excited to learn how we might use these cards because, um, you know, a parent might buy these and then never really know what to do with them they and could, feel kind of stuck. Yeah, they could sit on a shelf. <laughs> yes. And what I, what I put on the back of the box, if you can see here, can you see what yeah. that says? It says? Yeah, go up a little bit more. Powered you by you. you. Powered by you. <laughs> I am a huge stand that you are the manual. Okay? There's no right and wrong. And I really spend the good first whole class working with families on letting go of this high bar we set for ourselves and the rightness and wrongness of life and the expectations and what happens is we are so filled with stress about doing it right about parenting right that we have trouble being present to what is and this box of cards this game will never be something that tells you to be something you're not or that you should you should blank. One yeah. of my favorite sayings is, I won't should on you if you don't should on me, right? Mm -hmm. So what you speak of with families, we, have, we live in a world that's very left-brained, which means it's structure and order and right and wrong. It's very dualistic. Yes. And this game is powered by you. And what I mean by that is it's an, it's an experience is really what it is. Uh, could you maybe take a card or two and just maybe play a little bit with me? Sure. And then we can talk about what it is. Maybe we could just spontaneously play the game. I love it. Because <laughs> it, it's an experience is what we're saying. So let's do it. Okay. okay? I love it. Oh, gosh. Right, so Here we go. Woo! I've got my deck. Oh, I love it. And, and I, um, these are my, my kid cards. And they're really, okay. for all ages, they're simple enough that a uh, two-year-old can have fun with these. Um, and I've had 102-year-olds want to play with these cards. So I think we'll start with this deck. And I'm going to hold them out. Okay. And you're going to tell me to stop. And then I'll pull okay. that card for you. Uh, there. Okay. Yeah. So my six-year-old said to me one day, she said, Mommy, I think my card picks me like that. <laughs> and I said, I think you're right. Um, and so Robin, you picked your card that, that resonance energy, that's part of it. And it's fun. It's almost like I'm op opening a fortune cookie, right? Who doesn't yeah. like to do that? What's going to happen next? I hope it's good. Right. And they're all good. That's the nice thing. So, 
So you, I usually pull my child's card if they're the reading age. They'll read it just intuitively. Oh, you know, I am, you, yeah. I am gentle, powerful, and free. Yes, you are. I am gentle, powerful, and free. So, Robin, if we're together and and maybe you are my child, I would. That's exactly what would happen. There's no like next this happens. It's very organic. If they don't read, they'll they'll look at it like this for a while. You're thinking they're reading. Sometimes it's upside down like this, and they're holding it and they're joyful and they're looking at it. And then they say, "Mommy, mommy, read this. What does it say?" Um, if they're reading age, they'll do exactly what you did. They'll read it. I am gentle, powerful, and free. And then we just sit with that for a minute. I'm gentle, powerful, and free. Mm -hmm. And usually I just step, pause with that. And then sometimes the child will start into something. What it reminds them of. Yes. I'm it, surprised yeah. at this idea of being gentle and powerful at the same time. Oh, is that surprising? Why? What is that? What is that? What do you think about that? Well, gentle always seems so tender and powerful seems strong, right? Okay. Oh, and the idea of being free, too. And free. And what so, a wonderful way that would be to feel gentle, powerful, and free in parenting. Right. All Wouldn't the that, same time. Yeah. So with a four- and a five-year-old, you, you could say, isn't that, yeah, what is that? Like, what does that mean to be powerful and gentle? Mean, what, how, right. how can we do that? And they all have really amazing ideas. Oh, yes, they you know? will. And it's an opportunity. It's just an opening is what it is. It's really an opening. Now, for some It is. It's sort of like a little springboard, isn't it? it it's is. an opening. It it's is an opening. opening. It's an opening to have dialogue. It's wonderful. And, and you know what helps for parents, I think, is to hear stories. So let me tell you a story of a card I pulled. What, and, what I, and I'll give you a little training wheels. Asking questions. When you pull a card with your child, and let's say they do nothing, they're, they're like, whatever, mom, I'm gentle, powerful, and free, right? You got nothing. <laughs> so you, you can ask a question. Can you think of a time this week where you felt, you might take one of those words, powerful? So there's no right or wrong with these cards, but I'm not just throwing you out in the wild and saying go with it. They're really, I will hold your hand, I promise. There's a whole card on, oh, yeah. if you're new to this and you're saying, what do I do? You might go to this first one. What's the first one say? It says, ask questions, right? So I would look at that and I would maybe say to you, um, if I know that you're struggling with gentle hands, maybe you have a new baby in the house, I might say, um, oh, you, I am gentle, powerful, and free. Can you think of a time where you were gentle? And that, that toddler might immediately say, when I pat, pat, patted baby's feet, like you showed me yesterday. So mm -hmm. now we're reinforcing a new behavior, and it's not top down, is it? It's an experience. That child is sharing about yes. how I am so gentle. It's a very different way to learn than by telling them what not to do. It is. Yeah. Oh, this is funny. Yeah. I show my love. I am a friend. Oh, <laughs> oh I love it. I love that you grabbed that one. <laughs> Well, it's just, it's not that I need to work on having friends or I, you know, I have no friends or it's just the sense that I show my love. Don't we all? The idea behind peacemakers is, is it works with our thoughts, our words, and our actions. And these are basically the basic truths that came out of classes that I've taught and families have said, I hear you in my head, Suzanne. It's really helpful in the moments of stress. Yes. I'm pulling on these ideas and these basic truths. Um, but I want a way to keep them in front of me, and I want a way to share them with maybe my, my spouse who maybe isn't on board with this approach, yeah, uh, right? Another big one are parents, third generations, grandparents, oh, yeah. who, who may not actually believe that mistakes help me That's learn right. grow. Yeah. So these, the peacemakers are cards to help you playfully grab on to these truths and bring them into your everyday and, really and work on belief systems yes, right belief inside systems. of ourselves right absolutely because children at the base of their difficult behaviors that drive us crazy mm -hmm. have to do with be often belief systems yes. like it can be other things it can be just hard to be in their body for sensory reasons but self-regulation i mean an interesting thing about self-regulation mm -hmm. is that um 
when we behave in a way we believe, it's regulating. And when we don't behave in a way that we don't, we behave in a way we don't believe, it's dysregulating. So our belief systems are um, really important that we feel like we are acting on what we believe. So this is such a great game because it's sort of reinforcing more supportive belief systems Mm -hmm. that aren't judgmental. So a child isn't feeling dysregulated when they don't behave a way that, you know, supposed to behave. And it helps us remember, right? Remember is actually a word that means to bring into our body. To, yes. bring, to make it part of our member, part of my personhood. These yeah. cards are meant to help you remember. And many of us are remembering ourselves. I think the trigger of parenthood is we're healing all those old, unconscious, mostly, yes. memories and moments. Shame. Shameful. Based, shame-based ideas about yes. the self. Yes, there's little moments, and I know for me as a mother... I can't necessarily put words to those moments, but I can feel them in my body, right? So I need tools to help me in those moments, what you say, regulate. I am regulating myself. My child's plugging into me. They're regulating. So we're regulating together. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just wondering, before we end, if you could give us one more example of how this has been, on a practical level, useful for a family. Well, I had one family uh, write to me and say that they were having a morning, right? Things were just spiraling downward. It was a mother of three young children, and they were working to get to the bus. They were fighting within themselves. They were stressed, rushing, um, and she, you know, you just know when you're having a morning like that. So she said, let's pull out the cards. So they, uh, they were sitting down to their cereal and they got out the deck of cards and they pull a card. And that's what their ritual is in the morning is to pull a card. And they happened to pull one of my friends, this little guy who you'll find that he explores the theme joy and he is so fun. I call him silly fox. He is so funny and so silly when I don't feel so funny or so silly. He right. helps me go there. And his, <laughs> the, right? And he pulled, um, I think they pulled the one about uh, dancing and singing, right? So I am playful, let's uh, move and dance. So they started to put on a little Katy Perry, and that was self. Uh, that was one of the children had it on her phone, put on her little Katy Perry, and they started being silly and dancing and moving, and everyone started to get along. And what mm-hmm. happened? The mom felt her stress levels go down. Yeah. She felt in control and powerful because she was able to grab a tool and affect change. Yes. She was a leader in that moment. The children followed suit. Nobody was made bad or wrong. Right. right? And they all together, she told me that they ended up dancing their way to the bus. Oh, very wow. different morning. And it, it, yeah, it, totally it, different. that's where joy lives. Where they're more connected, not well, at each other. Really. Yes, yes. I think it was just that interrupting of the, the hamster wheel. Yes, of anxiety. Right in the morning. And it was that pause. And when we did the cards, Robin, we, we stop, we have the deck, we look at each other. You know, there's that moment we're breathing. Yeah. We're connecting to that moment very simply. And through that, we can connect to ourselves and to each other. Yes. Yeah. It's that pause. It's that powerful pause yes. just to be yes. here. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for uh, sharing your tool with us. And um, I look forward to hearing more about how this, uh, how your whole campaign to, to promote this work goes. And it's just been a real pleasure to talk with you, Suzanne. Thank you so much, Robin.